Hi, I'm James Brown, a Florida licensed attorney. Oh, fuck, whatever. From the top, take two. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Title Talk with Title Leap. I am James Brown, a Florida real estate attorney and founder of Title Leap. And I'm David Velez, closer extraordinaire and chief development officer at Title Leap, provided by James Brown Law. Today we're going to talk about code violations and how they can mess up a good sale. Jim, what's up with the fancy outfit? You're dressed pretty good today. Where's your Title Leap shirt at? I was in court. You were in court. What'd you do? I saved our client a little over 300 grand. You saved a client 300,000. Wow, that's impressive. How'd you do that exactly? We had a woman who was selling a piece of property. We were the title agent and the title report revealed a code violation that had ripened into a lien. So it was a code violation. She had something wrong with the property and it turned into a lien because how did, how did that happen exactly? 2006, evidently, she had bald spots in her yard. All spots in your they, they can give you a lien for that. Yeah, they they better not look at your head. <laughs> Thanks, David. <laughs> so she had uh, bald spots in the yard. The code violation officer cited her. That's a municipal violation and an ordinance violation. And so they held a hearing and she did not attend the hearing and she did not realize there was a violation because her husband had just passed away and she was in the process of transitioning out of that house into her daughter's house and mail wasn't being forwarded and things like that so there was a couple of factual issues preventing notice so she never even knew any of this was going on back exactly. in 2006 okay. 2006 so more than 10 years later you got this big lien and it's over 300 grand and so very efficiently we turned that closing file into a legal file okay. opened up a case inexpensively uh, resolved the code violation issue with a reinspection because it had been in compliance for many many years uh, assembled the facts submitted them to the special magistrate and quickly called a hearing and attended the hearing and got this resolved in a couple of weeks and so at the hearing they agreed to reduce the amount of the lien yeah that was a nice thing so staff had actually suggested a value many times in excess of the value that we ultimately obtained but when we gave the special magistrate the facts of our case so we had an older woman and she had had other code violations and she responded very quickly and brought property into compliance on other issues and that this issue had lingered unbeknownst to her he made a special exception and actually gave us a really nice outcome well, it sounds like you did a great service to the client yeah, it seems client like she'll be happy. able to close on her on her home now efficiently we're going to closing now and this is the kind of thing we do for clients all the time with the law firm and title leap being so closely related, affiliated, that makes doing these things very efficient. Thanks for watching Title Talk with Title Leap, where we are all about empowering agents with the tools to succeed. Hit subscribe and be sure to follow us on social media so you can be you can stay up to date on all our weekly videos. Thanks for watching.